Hey everyone, John Denner here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a short trade here on the bonds. Uh, we're looking at the buyers completely falling apart here, and we're looking to ride this move right back down with those buyers failing to push this move right back down to the lows. Now, I'm looking for an overall bigger push down uh, for a measured move down, target at 157.23, all in, all out. Nothing fancy, uh, just a quick little scalp to the downside. 158.01 down to 23 gives us 10 ticks on the move down. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that the bonds have kind of a, a sideways day, but more importantly, there is a little bit of a downward emphasis. You can definitely see the sellers have controlled most of the day. The buyers tried sweeping back in to take it back to the highs, and they completely fell apart at the high and dumped right back down through the low. And that gives us the clearance to, even though we are at the lows, that gives us the clearance to sell farther into the lows, looking for more conviction to the downside to really drive this selling pressure home. Now, I'm not looking for a major run. I'm not looking for a you know, a gargantuan thousand tick runner, that's just not going to happen. We're looking for completion of this move to the downside and wrap it up at 157.23 or so. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're seeing a beautiful breakdown from the buyers, completely unable to hold these highs. And with that strong rejection from them falling back down, we're looking for continuation back lower. So 157.23 is the objective area. Now, if you're not super familiar with the bonds, they are a heavier contract. You'll notice I only have three contracts on, and with one tick, it's 93, right? It's quite a bit of profit per tick in the bonds. Now, it's 31.25 a tick, okay? So times 10 contracts. Contracts. Just one contract is 312.50. We have three there. So we're looking at 937.50 on the move to the downside for a 30 tick final target. So the bonds are historically a very slow market. I'm not expecting this to go rip roaring to the downside all in one move. So we'll give it a little bit of time here and we'll see if we can get that final push down to 23. All right, we're coming one tick away from our target here. 157.23 is on lock and load. Bid ask is shifting, looking for 23. Our stop is at 04, so we're only risking three ticks on this. Yeah, and there we go, 157.23. We've been sitting in this one for quite a while here. Again, the bonds are not a fast market. We're not looking for this thing to go dropping like crude oil. That's just not going to happen. Uh, but we got in at 10.45 or so, a little bit before 10.45, and now we're completing at 11.15, going on 11.15. So beautiful drop down and just like you saw it doesn't take a lot on the bonds to make a good chunk of profit $937.50 locked in on a beautiful run to the downside and you know a relatively good move when it comes to the bonds even though it is a little bit of a slower market definitely can't be upset by seeing the buyers completely fall apart at the highs and drop that thing right back down to the lows. so that's going to do it 30 ticks on the trade if you have any questions about it feel free to shoot an email to school of trade don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com and as always We'll catch you next time.